<laughs> now I got you, hold on. What's poppin', rap world? You rockin' with your boy? What's shaking out there? Now everybody know I was rocking with Meek Mill when Academic threatened to send him back to the can if he continued to get super aggressive online. Or if Meek Mill see him in person and put hands in feet. I'm like, nah, where they do that at, man? That's not even proper protocol when you got beef with somebody in the street. But like I said, there's two sides to the story. Look, you making these suckers look good. You make it academic. Look, first of all, I disagree with academic face. I disagree with everything 6 9 stand for, right? But you're making these dudes out to be geniuses. On the one hand, they rat it. They're informants. They're making millions of dollars off of the backs of black people. On the other hand, they trolling, right? And you're responding. You see me? And they making sense. And they making you look like a clown, Meek Mill. At the end of the day, you have to have that same energy wherever you at. Like I always say, it's not where you from. It's where you at at the moment. You see what I'm talking about? So when they talk about Meek Mill having all that energy for bloggers and YouTubers, not that same energy for like a 50 or Jay Prince or dudes in your own hood in Philly making songs just airing you out. You have nothing to say but when a guy want to post you up on his blog and you want to get super aggressive, that makes you look suspect. Now, on the other hand, Meek Mill is a sucker. He got a super grill, you know what I mean, mean mug that make people think he a tough guy. We've seen him box. He won't let nothing die. He won't kill nothing. You feel me? On the other hand, you got your boy academic threatening females, threatening R&B singers, threatening people that are non-violent. He ain't talking like that to the gangsters like 50 Cent. You see what I'm saying? So he's a contradicting cocksucker anyway, man. He should have been canceled from the culture, man. You see what I'm saying? 6 9 is going to do what he do because at the end of the day man it's about trolling for him he's trying to find his way in people are closing doors and that's a beautiful thing man i hope he don't penetrate man and start influencing these other guys or influencing these young kids to start acting and portraying a gangster when they really not because it's not good for their future but what i will say is this man meek mill you fell for the gaffle you fell for the trick you're not internet savvy you know nothing about how online works you're too sensitive man and if i was you i wouldn't have responded to 50 cent like you did bro that was no energy that was weak energy you see what i'm saying you should have got super aggressive just like you did with academics man last thing we need to do is make academics or six nine be right about anything you feel what i'm saying they called you out and you got exposed mcmail at the end of the day leave 50 cent alone he's out of your league there's many rappers out there you can play with but 50 cent is not one of him man he from queens man we move a little bit different you see what i'm saying you see how he was exposing on little wayne show right talking how he talking moving how he was moving he keep it a thousand no matter where he's at and that's the queen's thing for you yeah i'm a little biased because i'm from queens and i know how to move and i know how we move and that's why i'm connected to what 50 cent do and how he be treating you dudes and how he be moving on you dudes man because queens we do things a little bit different you see what i'm saying look people keep saying 50 cent is a he ain't got no life 50 cent is a miserable person but you don't understand the game just because i laugh in your face one moment and then you know what i mean bang on you the next moment don't mean that i'm sweet don't mean that when I bang on you when it's convenient for me and not convenient for you, that don't mean that I'm doing something uncharacteristic because I got an album coming out or that's this bipolar. It's a method to our madness. You understand what I'm trying to tell you people? You feel what I'm saying? It's a method to our madness. But at the end of the day, you've never seen any rapper or any street dude come up to 50 Cent, talk reckless to him in his face right or had any paperwork you understand what i'm saying or anything like that where people showed them to him show showed up to his shows or any events that he had going on see because people understand when they see a real one you see what i'm saying and i know people keep saying yo cbt you biased man but like i told you before man 50 cent has never put out a weak record man this is a guy that put out music right album after album cd after cd when you can play that thing from 1 to 12 1 to 15 every song is a banger that's very rare for a queen for any rapper to come out with an album and every song is a banger 
You name me one wax song, I give you a hundred dollars for a wax song. Now we're not gonna talk numbers, right? Well, what did that single do? Or what did that album do? I'll leave that alone because I went all day. I'm talking about from the consensus of the people, any weak record 50 Cent put out. I said that to say this, man. Real recognized real. Little Wayne was sitting right there. He was smiling and chuckling. He got a he got a relationship with Meek Mill. He could have stopped that, cut that short. He got a relationship with Jay Z when 50 Cent was like, "You signed to a rap." He could have said something, man, but he didn't. You know why? Because he knows what's up. And more importantly, 50 Cent had the balls to say that to a guy that signed to Rockefeller or affiliated with Rockefeller, which Little Wayne is. See, so we do the most, and we stand on 10 toes when we do it that's the point people like look i'm from queens right and we got different boroughs but i'm telling you man the best rappers came out of queens right the best what what, what we call them um the best ceos came out of queens russell simmons all that like the best the president came out of queens like the, the governor cuomo came out of queens like i'm telling you about queens man we different we got a different mind you see what i'm saying got love for bk got love for Harlem. got love for staten island and long island you did what i'm talking about but i'm telling you right now man we different so you YouTubers that's from Detroit or, or you know what I mean, Chicago, you know what I mean, Texas. You, you, when you guys make, you know, y'all little videos about 50, just understand the mind of 50 Cent. Understand the mind of a queen, dude. And then you can make a great video when you're making sense. You dig? So if not, just check my video and check how bipolar I am in my video. Then check how 50 Cent be smashing on you dudes. And then you understand how queens move. You rockin' with your boy CBT. Holla at me. <laughs> We looking for the weight bully. We looking for early weight bully strength. We looking for the weight bully. We looking for the weight bully. It's ESPN or nothing. It's ESPN or nothing. Cash boxing talk. Go subscribe to the channel, man. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. Holla at your boy. Peace.